All right, fans, this should be big. He was supposed to be fighting somebody else tonight, but that match got canceled. Fidel Sierra is not very happy. He's going to go in the ring and tell the fans of IPW exactly what he thinks about this situation, Ron Nimi. Fidel Sierra recently returning again from the World Wrestling Council of Puerto Rico and comes back to IPW pissed off. Cuban heavyweight champion, and you Americans can kiss my ass. Now, Gee, we've never heard that promo from Fidel before. <laughs> I put IPW on the map. Me and Fantasy, we defended that IB, IPW title all over the world. And now they got a champion by the name of Agent Steel, who does shut the hell up. I don't need Listen to the pop for Agent Steel. Agent Steel, he's the IPW. But he refuses to give the Cuban Fidel Sierra, the man from Havana, Cuba, the only man, the only damn IPW champion that's ever done anything for this damn company. You know what? I am sick and tired of you people waiting. What the? You know that music, Aaron Royal. You know who that is. That's the IPW heavyweight champion himself, Agent Steel. Right, Agent Steel, the man who recently defeated your man, Mike Sullivan, to end his short reign, I might add, as IPW heavyweight champion. Agent Steel, you see the crowd goes nuts for this guy. Ron Nini, he may be IPW all the way, but I don't believe for a second, after the trouble you had with Quickie Mart, that you really like this guy. Agent Steel may have ended the reign of Mike Sullivan, but let's get one thing straight. That was the fourth IPW heavyweight championship for Mike Sullivan. Agent Steel. I may not like him, but you got to respect a guy that's able to get himself over with two lackey managers stuck at his side. Two guys we don't know what to do with, so we stick him with this guy, and he still managed to have nobody care about him. Well, that's true, Ron Amy, for sure. I tell you what, the two Marks, as I like to call them out at ringside, Mark Gold, Mike Gold, whatever he's called this week especially, doesn't like it, but I'll give credit where credit's due. Mr. Gold, you're now the manager of the heavyweight champion of IPW. Let's see if you can take it and run with it. AJ Steele hits the ring completely on fire, and he takes it right to Fidel Sierra. And by looking at the Cuban, you take a good look at this man. I guarantee the Shane brothers right now are on the first flight to Puerto Rico because, as the Cuban says, the gas flows like water. Yeah, Naftali joining that bunch as well, from what I understand. Naftali and his roid rages, legendary throughout the dressing rooms on the IPW Hardcore Wrestling Circuit. But you look in the ring, the mud baby Star Stevens has cleaned up his act, looking like a debonair stud. The senior referee, the senior official IPW, he's got his hands full. With Agent Steel, the Cuban assassin Fidel Sierra, and this is a high IPW heavyweight title match. Star Stevens, the man to have in the ring. There you see Fidel Sierra again. Getting the chin lock and Agent Steel going a little old school there, but Agent Steel able to reverse it right away. These two guys stealing each other out just a little bit. Uh, I tell you what, Agent Steel, he beat Mike Sullivan. He's beaten Billy Fies and Lex Lovett in previous weeks here on IPW television, but he's never faced a guy with the experience of Fidel Sierra in that ring. Let's hope for his sake that it doesn't come to bite him in the ass. Agent Steel, a lot of people think of him as a tag team expert. Everybody thinks of him, they think of Quickie Mart. They think of the hell that they raise against 911 Incorporated and the hardcore giant Ron Nimi when he chased the Shane Brothers for many, many months. When he dumped his tag team partner and moved on to the IPW heavyweight single scene, he proved he was the anchor of the team. He was the one carrying that dead weight on his back. And he has come right to the top of the mountain. He is the IPW heavyweight champion. And I may not like him, but I gotta respect this kid. So what you're saying is Agent Steel essentially beat the Shane Brothers all by himself. I hate to say it, but I gotta admit it. After many months, after after watching the tapes, after studying the Shane Brothers and Ron Nimi, he took it to the Shane Brothers and single-handedly, inside of a cage, somehow won the tag team titles. 
Tell you what, Ron, the Shane Brothers causing a lot of controversy. We're going to be talking about that later on this week, and I know that you're not a very happy camper. The Shane Brothers, some people would rather refer to them as the Johnsons, though some people would be the Jarretts, possibly Bill Barons, and an idiot from NWA Florida, Joe Price. But that's My for another buddy time. Joe Price. Yeah, your buddy Joe Price. I don't like him, but that's for another time and another place. Right now, Fidel Sierra's in the ring, got his eyes set on another IPW Heavyweight Championship, and he's throwing close fists one after the other into the cranium of Agent Steel, and that's going to eventually take its toll on his mandula oblongata. I tell you what, Ron, the Medulla Oblongata getting about as much time as Star Stevens here in IPW Television in Cuban with a figure four leg lock. I'm not exactly sure Agent Steele is ready to give up yet. As a matter of fact, I'm sure he isn't. But if he can wear down the legs of this young individual, it's going to help the veteran, a nice way of saying old guy, Cuban Assassin. Cuban Assassin, the big rib on the man, the big joke that everybody likes to tell. They always like to tell about their fathers listening to Cuban Assassin on the radio wrestling, George Hanker Schmidt, Luthez, and all the other greats from the 40s and 50s. But the truth is, this is a serious match, and you see Agent Steel reverse the figure four, and he locks it in on Fidel Sierra, and you see Shannon with the girth, the pregnant belly, taking pictures, making himself useful. I can hardly believe Shannon is actually worth a dime on this show. Hey, with Shannon Rose, the man who's been in the business 15 years, still wears a white shirt on television. Nobody does it like the Rooney out there. Let me tell you, we're talking about Fidel Sierra. People can call him old, joke around like I just did or whatever. But this man, what he says is the truth. When he was the IPW heavyweight champion for over six months, a couple of years back, he did defend the title all over the world. And he's the man that started getting the IPW name big, other than just in the state of Florida. He went all over the United States. He went to Puerto Rico. He went all over the islands. He went everywhere and made IPW a household name and people like Ron Nimi show him no respect for it. I give him all the respect in the world. The website has given him more publicity than he can ever hope for. He's in Puerto Rico in a bloodbath. Look at Fantasy sticking her nose again in the business and she's choking the life out of Agent Steel. I absolutely can't stand that woman and like I said before, she should be like my old lady and at home cooking, cleaning and taking care of the baby and taking care of me and service me like a woman should when I I take myself home after a hot day at the job. Okay, Ron Nimi. Everybody that knows your wife knows she'll heal on you in a second when she hears that promo. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Fantasy, Capitana, Natasha, whatever in the world she's being calling herself these days. She's the heart and soul of the Cuban assassin. She's the brains behind the operation, if you will. Probably the smartest woman in all of wrestling. She speaks four different languages, and she's managed this man's career for about 20 years going on now. Let me tell you something. You may not like Fantasy, but she's the reason. And Fidel Sierra has gone as far as he has. He knows that he should respect her, and you should too, Ron Nini. I have absolutely no respect for her, and that's why. You see her sticking herself into the match, interjecting herself. And, and it's the Ron Steel, Steel Show. And he, not only did he take out Agent Steel, he absolutely levels the mud baby, Star Stevens, reminiscent of the great mud match from Puerto Rico. All right, Ron, we got to go. This is a the DQ, obviously, fans. We'll be back in just a few minutes here on Weekly Recap on UPN. Come on, Agent Steel.